What is going on everyone, Brodo Sam is here and today I'm going to try to explain the usage of PlayStation 4 Save Mounter as slow and simple as possible because some people found the process to be way too complicated so I'm going to try to simplify it. So first of all you need to go to a 9.00 host and run the PS4 debug payload along with the FTP payload. You can run FTP from the host or you can just go to the gold hand menu in the PS4 settings and enable it from there. After that you need to go to PC and open FileZilla and connect the PS4 and PC through FTP. But for the sake of simplicity, we're going to open two FileZilla windows so we don't keep going back and forth to the uh, folders location. So this is going to be easier if we open two windows. All right, on the right one, we go to user, home, your profile ID, save data. And then we go to the folder of the game that you want to copy the saves to it. Okay, we're done with this one. On the left, we go to MNT, which is mount, and then PFS. Okay, now we're done with this. Now we need to run the PS4 save mounter, okay? Type the PS4's IP address here. and click connect okay you should see the status here connected next hit setup your ps4 profile name will appear here click get games and we're going to select the game you know that we want to copy the saves to it okay click search to search for saves that we have on this game and as you can see I have two saves now you will select the save that you want to change okay so I'm gonna select user 3 okay and now we need to mount it and then unmount it so mount and unmount okay we're done with this step now we need to back up our original save okay so create a folder and copy the original encrypted saves to it. All right, now we have them backed up here. And the reason why we back them up is because we have to copy the modded saves here and then mount them. We can't mount the modded saves if we keep the original saves of the same user uh, in this location. Even though they both have different names, one has the SDIMG in the beginning, but has but it's the same user and the other is a different name, it's not going to be mounted and you have to delete the uh, the one that you back up, the original encrypted save that you back up. So you have to delete it or the save mounter application will get confused and it will tell you mount failed. So back them up and then delete them. Okay, now we need to copy the encrypted saves that we got from the internet or whatever. Okay, now we will change only the number of the user. It's very important to change only the number of the user. You don't have to change the entire name, only the number of the user. If you rename the uh, modded save and add SDIMG to it, uh, then you try to mount it, it's not going to be mounted, it's going to tell you mount failed. So make sure that you don't rename it and only change the number of the user. So I'm going to change it 6 to 3, user 3, and then user 3. Okay, now we're done with this. So. Here comes the decryption part. This is the part where we decrypt this this encrypted, uh, you know, save file. So, for that, we go back to the save mounter, okay, and we click mount. All right, it has been mounted. 
it's right here so come here and refresh open this folder and here's your decrypted save file okay so copy it here okay it went here okay now we need to unmount because we're done with this okay so now we got our uh, decrypted save file okay now we need to come here and delete this uh, this like foreign this foreign save that will not be loaded because it's not from our profile we need to delete it okay so delete delete okay now we need to put back our original encrypted save files so copy them here and we need to mount them again so we can access the uh, decrypted save file and change it so go back to the uh, save mounter click mount so we can change the decrypted save file come back here and make sure to hit refresh it's very important you have to refresh okay now this is the decrypted save file of our original save delete it and then we're going to copy the modded save file here which is you know decrypted and now you're basically done it's over you're done you have to click unmount it's very important that you click unmount if you don't click unmount and then go and try to run the game it's not going to load the save so it's very important that you finish with unmounting okay now let's quickly recap what we did and after that i'm going to try with a different game so you can get a better understanding of how this works so first of all we mount and then unmount then we back up our original saves or encrypted saves because those are encrypted so we back them up okay and then we delete them after that we copy the modded saves okay then we change the user number of those modded saves to match the original save and then we go back to the uh, save mounter and hit mount then we go to the left window of filezilla refresh and we copy the decrypted save file of the modded save after that we unmount now we go back to the right window and we delete the modded saves that we copied earlier and we put back our original saves go back to the save mounter hit mount and then go to the left window refresh and delete the original decrypted save file then copy the modded decrypted save file and hit unmount and we're done now i'm gonna try with a different game i have uh, uncharted the nathan drake collection here uh, this uh 02344 so we're gonna try to add saves to it so we're gonna open the saves folder okay now we need to open ps4 save mounter click connect set up get games we're gonna select the game and hit search okay now we have the save file this one is the save file that we're gonna change so hit mount and then unmount and we're done with this step now we need to back up the original save so I'm gonna create a folder here and we're gonna back up the original save, which is save data 010. Okay. Save data 010. Don't worry about SD image and don't care about it. Okay. Just save data 010. Okay. And now we need to delete them. Delete and delete okay now we copy the encrypted downloaded saves okay all right now we go back to 
save mounter and we mount them okay they're mounted we come back here refresh and there you have it here it is 02344 and now we have the uh, decrypted uh, save data okay so we're gonna copy it here and come back to the save mounter and unmount okay now we're done with this so we need to go back here and delete the modded save that we copied earlier okay remember we copied 010 010 all right so we need to remove them 010 010 and we're gonna copy the original saves okay there you go all right now we go back to save mounter and we're gonna mount come back here refresh you have to refresh okay now those are the decrypted save files of our original saves okay delete them okay careful not to delete the sce folder and now you just copy the decrypted modded save okay and finally the last step is unmounted okay very important to unmount so yeah this is how it's done i hope this is uh, easier and more understandable than the previous tutorial so uh, there's just too many steps and you have to focus a little bit it kind of uh, confusing in the beginning but once you get the hang of it, uh, it it all becomes much much easier so yeah this is it this is the end of the video and uh, i'm going to be testing uh, the uh, uncharted modded save so yeah this is it Take care and I'll see you soon.